Hey guys, this is a video review of the Arrow Deathstroke action figure, part of DC Collectibles Arrow action figure lineup. Here we can see Deathstroke on the front of the packaging and on the side. And on the side we see a picture of Deathstroke. On the top it just says Arrow. But on the back we can see Deathstroke along with other figures in the line including Arrow, Canary, and Oliver Queen without a shirt and the hood. Now these are actually not the despite the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 these are not actually not the first Arrow figures we've gotten. The first are actually the Arrow figure with the Billy Wintergreen action figure, which I have right here. Now, this could also work as the as a Deathstroke action figure, but this is actually Billy Wintergreen in the show because he wore the Deathstroke mask with the armor, and it's a very great action figure. Now, Deathstroke has always made great action figures because he's a well-armored mercenary with weapons so he does have this figure does have great armor and he did come with this M4 with a grenade launcher a sword and a handgun and we can see that this arrow deathstroke action figure comes with a lot of accessories as well On the bottom, we just see some warning logos. Well, that's about it for the packaging. Let's open this up and see how cool it actually is. Let's open up the figure like so. And as you can see, here's Deathstroke and his accessories. First, let's t check out the articulation on this guy. His head rotates a full 360 degrees all around. Arms go in and out. Hold on. Probably just this much, but still pretty good for a DC collectible. Elbow bends a little less than 90 degrees or actually a 90 legs move go back and forth do the splits because of this space you have right here of course it could go up all the way here not very much movement in the back because these pieces do collide but you do get a full 180 with the knee now, one gripe I do have is that the knee pad is actually with the lower leg, so I actually don't like how this knee pad is right here. I feel like it should be on this knee joint. And that's probably how it is on the show. It's probably just a knee pad strapped to the leg. You do get some nice ankle pivot here. It does tilt up and down. And he does come with quite a few accessories, the sword, the gun, and the two knives. Now, unlike previous Deathstroke figures, you'll notice that he only has two of his signature weapons. And if you've collected previous Deathstroke figures, you know his signature weapons are usually the gun, the sword, and the staff. But you only get two of those here. But that is accurate to how it he was in the show. He only... He didn't have a staff, and that's how you prefer it. Because I would, would prefer Deathstroke to have a weapon in each hand and a staff. He would hold in the fiction with both hands. But I usually prefer Deathstroke holding a sword and a gun.
And he does look very great with these accessories. Now as for the figure, I do I think it's a very great looking figure. I love all this armor. The blue pads. The details of the boots. All the nice straps on the leg and the forearm and around this bandolier. Do it's a very great looking armor. Now a lot of people saw pictures of the armor online before we saw Slade Wilson wear this Deathstroke armor in the show. And a lot of us knew that this was going to make a very great action figure. I mean, it looks like Slade Wilson went to a big five store, took all their gear, a gun and a sword and put on him. And he looks very, fed, very great in this armor. You can see all his, all his padding, the straps. The armor, uh, he's got a nice little um, holder for his gun here. So overall this look is a very great costume for the character and a very good representation of an, a realistic death stroke. And I think the action figure really nails it. Just the look and feel of Slade Wilson, Manu Bennett playing Slade Wilson in the TV show. Now here's Slade Wilson compared to his Arkham counterpart, Arkham Deathstroke. Now you can now you do see there are similarities between the two. He's got a uh, blue and orange leg armor right here. And he's also got a very solid, he's got very solid metallic mask right here. Whereas this is a hockey mask painted black and orange, and with only one eye opening right here. And you can see he's got a blue breastplate, just like his Arkham Origins ver figure. And they also have blue shoulder pads. and blue forearms. Now the Arkham Deathstroke does come with all three of his signature weapons, the staff, the gun, and the sword. And just like the Arrow version, these are both very great Deathstroke figures. Again, I've said, because of the way Deathstroke is being an armored mercenary with weapons, he has always made for some very great action figures. And these two are the best Deathstroke action figures You'll find in toy form. This being from Arrow, and this being from Arkham, and two of my favorite Deathstroke designs. Now, the, Ar the Arkham Deathstroke makes a very good fictional representation of the character and represents Deathstroke very well in the Arkham Origins game because all of the Arkham Origins characters do have very great designs. And they did make a new design for Deathstroke that fit very well with, sorry, the knee pad, it's loose, fit very well with the character, but also looked very cool. And I think this action figure is the best representation of that Arkham Origins design. And it is a very great counter to Batman's bat armor in the Arkham Origins video game. Whereas the Arrow Deathstroke figure is a very good representation of a realistic Deathstroke with all the armor and the equipment and a death a person like Deathstroke would have in real life, which is shown well in all his details, including the orange straps, the holders on his waist and his leg. And just the overall sculpting of the figure, which is very great. And even though this is a representation of how Deathstroke would look in real life, I think all the details of an actual Deathstroke armor make this a very great action figure. Now, as I've shown you, he does come with 
two more accessories right here. Now you can actually, now the hilt of this knife is much bigger than the hilt of the sword, so it's very tough to get this in, but it can go in. Uh, it's not, probably not a good idea to try and stick this underneath because you can, probably can't tell just by, unless you look really close. But the thumb and the index finger, unlike the other hand which is made to hold the gun, are actually one piece. So obviously this bottom portion of the knife won't go through it at all. So it's best to have him hold the knife right side up. It also comes with this much small, much smaller knife, but because the hilt of this knife is much thinner than the sword or the other knife, it probably would go through the hand, especially if you've had the sword in it for a long time. Now you'll actually want to be careful with weapons like the knives and the swords. General Giant Studios doesn't have a very good history with long thin pieces of plastic. This can actually bend and break if you try to force this in. If you're having trouble getting it to fit. But you can store this in the back but because the blade the hilt is longer than the blade, probably might, like, it's likely to fall out, but, so you may actually want to store this in the box, but, you can sort of see the hilt on the front, and you can def add on the side of the figure. Now, a concern I often have about Deathstroke figures is that they often come with a lot of different accessories. And because of that, one concern I always have is that because some accessories are larger than others, when you try to put them into one of the hands, it usually stretches out the hand. And a hand can only hold a large weapon for so long before you take it out and the fingers fail to curl. So you definitely, this hand for the gun is definitely too big for the sword now. Or any of the knives. So it's best that the only weapon you put in here is the gun. If you put the gun in it. But overall I think Deathstroke is a very good looking figure. Again I love the armor which comes with this guy. Just the, the blue shoulder pads. All the great details of the straps, the orange straps, the nice helmet, which is reminiscent of his Arkham Origins version, and he even has some these bits flung out of his helmet. So it's a very cool armor piece with some blue, with some great blue padding, and he does come with great accessories. You can actually get him in some pretty cool poses with the accessories. And make Deathstroke a very fun figure to play with. So overall, very good, nicely sculpted figure with great armor and a sword and a gun, which make the figure look very cool. Again, and at about twenty something dollars, I think very much recommend picking up this figure at your local comic book store. This is the best action figure in the Arrow lineup, so be sure to pick it up if you're a fan of Arrow or Deathstroke.